Hey guys, it's Chris. From animals attacking one another for one reason or another, to defense mechanisms that seem a bit more brutal than necessary, join me as I reveal 10 times animals were total jerks to other animals. Number 10, Mahalo versus the Porcupine. It's well known in the animal kingdom that porcupines are creatures that you don't want to mess with for the most basic of reasons. They're quills. They'll stick you with them, and it's gonna hurt getting them out. But don't take my word for it. Take Mahalo, a dog from Canada who didn't think that when he approached the porcupine in question, he would end up looking like this. So how could this happen to this poor dog? That would be dumb luck. Because you see, Mahalo and his fellow dog pals were playing on their owner's land, just minding their own business when they happened to stumble upon a porcupine. They decided to try and play with the animal, but didn't realize that porcupines really don't want to play with friendly dogs. The porcupine was irritated, to the extent that it was so angry at these dogs that it almost barbed them to death with its quills. So yeah, it's easy to look at the picture of Mahalo with the barbs and laugh, but it did almost kill him, and his fellow dogs were just as injured. It was so rough that the quills penetrated his skin and nearly penetrated his heart. If it weren't for his owner getting him to the vet to have surgery, he likely would have died. Although he did live, as did the other dogs, the process of getting the barbs out of his body was not a painless experience. He'll likely never want to meet a porcupine again. How about you, though? Have you ever handled a porcupine? What about a skunk? These are two of the most common animals that no normal person ever wants to closely encounter. At least if they want to keep their skin from getting punched through with holes or they don't want to smell like a dumpster. Tell me about your experience if you've ever had one and then remember to hit subscribe. That is, if you haven't subscribed already, you'll want to hit that red button to stay up to date on all the awesome content coming out right here on World List every day. Number 9. Polar Bear Meets a Sled Dog this particular tale is one of two halves, so don't judge fully because of the first part, or you might miss the moral of the whole tale. In Manitoba, Canada, a person and their sled dog team went to a protected wildlife sanctuary in order to try and get some up-close and personal footage of polar bears who were at the sanctuary. They would get their chance, but not in the way you'd expect. Frighteningly, after chaining up one of their sled dogs, a polar bear went right up to the sled dog and started to play with it. This was a situation where the dog owners weren't sure what was going to happen for obvious reasons. Polar bears can be nice, but they're still bears and they're known to lash out. But in this case, the bear really didn't seem to want to play with the dog, though the dog didn't understand that at first. The bear started to nudge the dog to tease it, and then went and hugged the dog later and eventually the dog realized what was going on. It was a heartwarming moment, which might leave you confused because this is supposed to be about animals being jerks to one another. And that's where the other shoe drops, sadly, because at the very same sanctuary, not long after this remarkable footage was taken, three bears had to be removed after attacking some of the dogs. It just goes to show that while it's nice to see bears being playful, it's not something you should expect all the time. Be careful around bears, even if they look friendly. Number 8. Leopard versus Porcupine in Africa, there are certain reserves that house many major animals, including the Big Five, and as such, you occasionally have animals running into each other unintentionally, but then fighting very intentionally. Such was the case for one videographer who was on vacation in the reserve and was going about his day when he stumbled upon a leopard going into a culvert, and then finding out the hard way that the place was already home to a pretty large porcupine, one whose quills could easily have been a foot long. The leopard, being a major predator, was not phased by the creature and tried to attack it. But that's the rub right there. Porcupines aren't just creatures who have a defense mechanism that's great, they know how to use it. As you watch the footage, you'll see the porcupine always keeping its quills facing the cat, and even ramming into it to get the cat to back off. Sure enough, the leopard did not win the fight, which once again proves why, big or small, you don't mess with the porcupine. Number 7. Cheetah Getting Groomed by Meerkats when you look at certain animal pairings, you can't help but think that this won't go well for the lesser animal, such as if you were to go and put a cheetah and some meerkats in the same area. But that's where things get interesting in this case. Meet Kenji the cheetah, a young cheetah who is honestly one of the friendlier cheetahs you'll ever meet. He's so friendly that he wants to be good neighbors with all the animals in the surrounding pens at the reserve he's at. And what happens to be next to him? A cage of meerkats. So, being friendly, he goes and observes the meerkats up close, and even presses his body up against the cage. The meerkats, though, don't want any part of him, and start to dig under their cage so they can get closer to the cheetah to attack him, and pester him with strikes through the cage to try and get the big cat to back off. 
One problem, they were such ineffective strikes that the cheetah felt the meerkats were grooming him. So he continued to press his body up against the cage to be friendly, which made the meerkats all the more furious. This seems like something straight out of a comedy film. Truly the makings of a beautiful friendship. Number 6. The Tiger and Dog BFFs In Slovakia, there's a place called Oasis, and it's a refuge for certain animals, including Siberian tigers. One of them is named Surya, and she has a very interesting relationship with certain other animals that live there, mainly a trio of German shepherds. You see, these dogs belong to the owner who helps raise and protect big cats, and Surya was brought into the Oasis protected area when she was just a young cub. Therefore, these dogs were not just there since her birth, they were basically her family. As such, these dogs and the tiger play well together and have a relationship that honestly boggles the mind, especially when you look at the footage that the owner has captured of them playing with each other. It's even gotten to the point where Surya had a cub named Sunny, and Sunny now plays happily with the dogs as well. Though it should be noted that the German Shepherds and the Tiger do roughhouse quite a bit and can get a little physical. But it's all in good fun and love. Besides, who said families can't be jerks to each other occasionally? Number 5. Cat vs. Toy Tiger There are a lot of things that are adorable about animals, especially cats and dogs. But one thing that never ceases to amaze is the fact that sometimes they really, really don't get what's going on and act instinctively because they think they're in danger. One example of this is the case of this house cat who walks into a room to find itself looking at a stuffed toy tiger. Usually you'd think it would just observe the toy and move on, but no, it straight up attacks the tiger with a mean right hook that honestly looks rather powerful. What makes matters worse for the house cat isn't just that the owner is filming this altercation, but rather that they're making the toy tiger seem alive by moving it and interacting with the cat, and thus getting the cat even angrier and hitting it even harder. It's hilarious, but it's also kind of sad to watch this cat go at it against a toy tiger. And yet, I kind of can't look away. What about you? Number 4. Cat Boxing with a Dog if fighting fake animals wasn't enough for you, check out this cat who decides it's a great idea to go and box a real animal. In this case, the other animal is a Labrador. Matt the cat apparently really doesn't like Storm the dog, and shows that in a very rude and aggressive way by repeatedly hitting the dog boxing style, to the extent that you honestly have to wonder if it would do this to every dog or if it's just a Stormy. The sad part is that Stormy doesn't seem to fight back. She clearly just wants to play with the cat, but Matt is not having any of it. Just as bad though, the owner is laughing throughout the encounter. That's favoritism pure and simple, and that dog kind of deserves better. Number 3. Sheep Getting Revenge when you think about sheep as a whole, you likely picture them as rather docile creatures, ones that don't go and get into too much trouble aside from wandering around in places maybe they shouldn't be. But in this tale of sheep versus cat, things get physical. For whatever reason, a black cat, infamous for bringing bad luck along with it, walks into a barn where a bunch of sheep are resting in their pen. The black cat strolls on top of the pen, and a sheep notices it and gets closer to see what the cat's all about. The black cat isn't amused by this and proceeds to swipe at the sheep and hiss at the creature as if it's the true owner of the place. The sheep were not amused. When the cat thought it had won and turned its back on the sheep, the sheep lunged upward and headbutted the cat right off the pen, sending it careening to the ground and running for its life. Needless to say, it won't be counting sheep when it goes to sleep anymore. Number 2. Kangaroo vs. Goat Kangaroos are very interesting creatures when you observe them from the scope of the whole world. They have a unique shape, a unique way of getting around, and they do know how to punch and kick with the best of them. One goat found out about this the hard way. While at a reservation area, a couple stumbled upon a goat picking a fight with a kangaroo. The goat was the aggressor and for whatever reason didn't want the kangaroo in the area, so it strutted around and tried to get the kangaroo to leave. A truly bold and rude move. But the kangaroo not only wasn't moved, it lunged at the goat and started attacking back just to prove it wouldn't be messed with. The two did your typical circling to see what would happen next, but the kangaroo got bored and hopped away, and the goat followed. Whether it's humans or animals, some people just can't leave well enough alone. Number 1. Parrot Annoys Cat to some, parrots are amazing creatures due to them being able to speak in their own way via mimicry. It's fun for many people to go and try to teach these birds new words and phrases, and even train them to have conversations. But not unlike other birds, parrots can be jerks at times as one cat will happily attest to. Because someone had the bright idea of putting this African parrot and a regular cat next to one another, and right from the start it doesn't go well for the cat. The parrot saunters over to the cat in the most comedic way possible. 
and just starts annoying it to death. From pressing its claws upon the cat to pecking at its eyes, and at points even looking like it's removing hair from the cat itself. The cat takes it like a champ, but you can tell it's getting angrier and angrier with every single move the parrot makes. And yet the parrot isn't reading the room and thus just keeps on going. Eventually the cat has enough and makes a big swipe at the parrot, sending it flying away. There's probably a lesson to be learned here somewhere. Thanks for watching. What did you think of these animals who are frankly jerks to other animals? Which one shocked you the most? Let me know in the comments below. Be sure to subscribe to World List, and I'll see you next time on the channel.